Welcome to the English news program on Somaliland National Television with me, Isaac Ahmed. Let's take a look at the main stories making local headlines. Director General of Industries makes work-related visit to various water distillation companies. Somaliland Job Center, known as Shagadon, grants exclusive interview to SLN TV. Germany elections around the corner. The Ministry of Industries continues to make work-related visits to various water distillation companies throughout the capital city, Hargeisa. The Ministry of Industries, in an effort to better assess national factories, continues to make work-related visits to various water distillation companies. The Director General of Industries visited several water distillation factories. He met with the owners, staff, and other involved persons to discuss their overall work output, challenges faced, progress made, and prospective plans. The Director General expressed appreciation towards the owners for the tour extended and speaking on behalf of Somaliland's government pledged to strengthen the cooperation relationship between Somaliland's Ministry of Industries and factories working throughout Somaliland. The Ministry of Industries recently held high-level meetings with representatives of the United Nations in Hargeisa. It was agreed to prompt further productivity throughout national factories with the hope of fueling the national economy. The water distillation factories are just one of the many factories working in Somaliland. Creating jobs has been a main priority for this administration. Earlier, we met with the chairman of the National Employment Agency. Omar Jama Saeed, chairman of the Somaliland Job Center, spoke to our reporters on the goals of this office, ongoing projects and plans in the pipeline. He explained that creating jobs is a key fundamental component of meeting national challenges head-on, and that there must be efforts of supporting citizens in bridging the gap between employer and employee. Omar Jama Saeed added that national statistics data collection, and other job-related researches will be compiled in order to forecast prospective plans, obstacles, and areas of interest. The National Employment Agency works directly under Somaliland's Ministry of Labor and Social Affairs. Omar Jama Saeed, chairman of that agency, reaffirmed this government's commitment to curtailing the growing challenges of youth trafficking to other nations to find jobs by better providing avenues of gaining training skills and employment opportunities in the public and private sectors of Somaliland. The regional education officer of Dad Mered accepted plants and various trees from an environmentally friendly organization known as Garsor. The regional education officer of Dad Mered accepted donated plants for public schools from a local organization known as Garsor. The REO, speaking to the media, stated that its essential major environment-friendly initiatives take place at public schools. He informed attendees of the transference ceremony that plants and trees are crucial to our existence, and as such, we should make the extra effort of safeguarding and protecting them. Representatives of Garsor organization also expressed their desire promoting green projects throughout Somaliland. They concluded their remarks with the promise of taking similar steps at different public schools in the nation. Germany elections have placed great pressure on Chancellor Angela Merkel to convince voters to re-elect her for office. In televised comments, Merkel said, The stronger the mandate for me, the better I can create policies for Germany and represent our interests in Europe and also the world. I like my job and I'm asking you to vote for the CDU. Merkel's rival, Peter Steinbrück of the SPD, called out to undecided voters, saying, some people spend time with thinking about the question of whether they should vote or if they should punish the parties. My key plea is, go out and vote on Sunday. Syria has already begun disclosing information about its chemical weapons program to the respective institutions worldwide. The Organization for the Protection of Chemical Weapons, OPCW, has said the country has already begun to send details of its weapons arsenal as part of the U.S.-Russia deal to make them safe. The OPCW, based in the Netherlands, stated that it, the OPCW, based in the Netherlands, states that it expects more information in the coming days. Meanwhile, Syria's heavy fighting has been reported in the town of Arita, between the coastal city of Latakia and Aleppo. The country's commercial capital and largest city is carved up into rebel and government-controlled neighborhoods separated by checkpoints. Since an opposition offensive in July 2012. Fighting has been almost continuous with large parts of the city destroyed and thousands of residents leaving. 
Thank you for watching. That's the end of our news program. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>